Russia's war now, and Ukraine says it used the U.S.-made Patriot air defense system to intercept a Russian hypersonic missile. The developers of the Patriot missile systems, and in particular the United States and the Pentagon, in our world, survival often favours the strongest, while the vulnerable live in a constant state of fear and anxiety. It's a world where a country's global standing is often determined by its arsenal of bombs, nuclear weapons, chemical warfare capabilities and other cutting-edge military firepower. And when it comes to having the most advanced and formidable military weaponry, the United States military stands unrivaled. However, Russia is not far behind, and they've recently made a startling announcement. They claim to have developed something highly advanced that could potentially obliterate everything in its path. The mere notion of such an invention is enough to evoke deep-seated fears and anxieties. So join us as we delve into this creation that the Russian military has just revealed. Over the past 18 months, the world has gained more insight into Russia's armed forces than in the previous two decades. It's become increasingly important to recognize that Russia is undergoing significant adaptations in its military strategy. The process of military modernization known as the New Look, initiated in late 2008, has transformed Russia into a more formidable military power today than it has been since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Previous attempts to reform Russia's armed forces, such as those in the 1980s and 1990s, fell short. However, following the less than satisfactory performance in the October 2008 war with Georgia, a renewed political commitment and improved financial resources converged to kickstart the New Look initiative. The state armament program 2011 to 2020 played a pivotal role in achieving these modernization goals. And the progress in modernization has been uneven across various branches of the armed forces. The strategic and aerospace forces, along with the Navy, generally boast more modern equipment than the ground forces. However, the Russian Air Force possesses a formidable weapon known as the Kinshal air-launched hypersonic missile that has captured global attention. The KH-47M2 Kinjal made international headlines when Russia announced its use on March 19th last year to obliterate a weapons storage depot in the village of Deljatin in Ukraine's Ivano-Frankivsk region in the west, representing the inaugural deployment of a hypersonic weapon. Subsequently, it was employed again the following day to strike a fuel depot in Kostjantanivka near Mykolaiv. The significance of this weapon was underscored when US President Joe Biden, speaking at a conference with business leaders, remarked that it's almost impossible to stop. But what sets the Kinjal air-launched hypersonic missile apart as a formidable weapon? This missile can achieve astonishing speeds, ranging from 5 to 12 mark, and it boasts an impressive range of approximately 2,000 kilometers. Notably, it can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, with the conventional warhead offering the advantage of swifter and more precise delivery. The Kinshaw missile may be launched from Tu-22M3 bombers or MiG-31K interceptors, providing flexibility in its deployment. However, what truly distinguishes the Kinshaw is its unique propulsion method. Unlike hypersonic cruise missiles that rely on scramjets for propulsion or glide vehicles to handle re-entry, the Kinshal attains its incredible velocities through sheer raw force. Entering operational duty in 2017, the Kinshal is essentially a modified version of the 9K720 Iskander, a ground-launched, short-range ballistic missile. It has been equipped with a new guidance system tailored exclusively for air-to-ground operations, as reported by the national interest. One of its most significant attributes is its exceptional maneuverability throughout its entire flight path, making it a highly challenging target for interception. But that's not all. Russia has been working on another secret weapon that has the potential to cause massive destruction, the Buravestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile. This experimental missile, known as Skyfall in NATO reporting, is designed to be nuclear-powered and boasts an unlimited range. While much of this missile's details are veiled in secrecy, there is a host of speculations surrounding its capabilities and characteristics. 
Sources suggest that the Burevestnik missile measures 12 meters at launch and then contracts to 9 meters during flight. Its nose has an elliptical shape, approximately 1 meter by 1.5 meters in size. The Burevestnik is believed to be a nuclear thermal rocket equipped with a solid-fueled booster engine and it is presumed to carry a high-yield thermonuclear warhead. One interesting aspect of the Burevestnik is its size compared to the KH-101 missile. It is reported to be one and a half to two times larger than the KH-101 and its wings are located on the top of the fuselage, in contrast to the KH-101. Because of its onboard nuclear reactor, the missile's weight is significantly greater than that of the KH-101. This rules out the possibility of using aircraft like the Tu-160 or the Tu-95MS as carriers for the Burevestnik and raises the prospect of deploying it on naval vessels. Reports have also indicated that ground-based transporter erector launcher TEL vehicles such as the MZKT-7930 with an 8x8 configuration could serve as carriers for this missile. Some claims from Russian sources suggest that the Burevestnik may achieve operational status around the year 2025, adding further intrigue to this secretive weapon. Moreover, in the secretive town of Sarov, located approximately 350 kilometers east of Moscow, Russian scientists are deeply engaged in a project aimed at ensuring the longevity of Russia's nuclear weapons. Within an immense facility, standing 10 stories tall and covering the expanse of two football fields, they are constructing what's officially designated as UFL-2M. The Russian media, however, has given it a more ominous moniker, the Tsar Laser. If successfully completed, this laser would claim the title of the world's highest energy laser. High energy lasers possess the ability to focus energy onto clusters of atoms, elevating temperature and pressure levels to the point where nuclear reactions can be initiated. Scientists employ these lasers to replicate the conditions that arise during a nuclear warhead's detonation. By creating controlled explosions within small samples of materials, whether they are research-oriented or minuscule portions from existing nuclear weapons, scientists can then make precise calculations regarding the performance of a full-scale nuclear bomb. This method allows them to ensure that aging warheads still function as intended and permits testing without resorting to actual nuclear detonations. Up until now, Russia has stood out among the world's established nuclear powers by not possessing a high-energy laser system. The United States boasts its National Ignition Facility NIF, currently the most powerful laser system globally. With its 192 individual beams combining to deliver 1.8 megajoules of energy, it has reigned supreme. However, if the Tsar laser project comes to fruition, it will surpass them all. Like the NIF, it is slated to feature 192 beams, but with a higher combined output of 2.8 megajoules. Now shifting our attention to the United States, there's a truly astonishing creation in the US Air Force's arsenal, the Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser. Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Lasers have a substantial history dating back to the 1970s, so this new weapon isn't exactly a novel invention. Rather, it represents a massive upgrade from typical laser weaponry. The US Air Force has successfully developed a next-generation, highly versatile weapon system with the capability to obliterate anything obstructing its path. What sets it apart is its adaptability to various military platforms and vehicles, making it suitable for use by both the Army and Navy without requiring modifications. Even in its prototype phase, this weapon has already taken the top spot in the realm of advanced weaponry. This laser has aced all field tests, showcasing its remarkable capabilities. And now it awaits deployment in the right circumstances, a moment that could arise in the event of future conflicts. To delve into the specifics of this new laser technology and what makes it extraordinary, the Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser is a dynamic weapon that emits an incredibly potent beam with a peak intensity surpassing that of the sun by a factor of up to a million. The Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser employs a high energy light beam to deliver precise and powerful strikes on its target. This beam is capable of slicing through metal, shattering glass, and even disabling electronic systems in less than a second. 
Encased within a compact, portable frame, this laser may initially resemble a camera or a large stage light. However, it is, in fact, a highly advanced and groundbreaking laser weapon. Its compact design was intentional, allowing military personnel to carry it easily to various locations. Despite its unassuming appearance, this laser emits dangerous, ultra-short pulses aimed at its target. Pulses so rapid and intense that they can slice through steel and similar materials in an instant. However, this weapon isn't solely a tool for destruction. It can also be employed for non-lethal purposes like blinding enemy combatants or disabling electronic devices. One remarkable aspect of this new US Air Force laser is its incredible speed. It boasts a pulse duration that ranges from femtoseconds to picoseconds. Essentially, this means the laser operates at such a breakneck pace that it can eliminate a target before they even have time to react. To put it into perspective, this laser emits 1 million megawatts of energy in just 200 femtoseconds. To clarify, one femtosecond equals one quadrillionth of a second. The combination of rapid pulse duration and high beam intensity equips this weapon to cut, weld, and even melt various materials. Remarkably, this pulse laser is so precise that it can slice through materials without causing any heat-related damage to the surrounding areas. Such a property is quite uncommon in laser weaponry, rendering it highly suitable for a wide array of military applications, including target identification and instant point-and-kill scenarios. Ordinary lasers project a continuous, focused energy beam on a target. In contrast, the pulse laser relies on ultra-fast light flashes to obliterate anything in its path. When fired, this laser's energy is absorbed by the targeted material. Upon contact, it triggers the material to rapidly expand and ignite. This expansion, coupled with the laser's impact, sends a substantial shockwave throughout the material, accompanied by small surface explosions. This process results in a precise and clean cut. The tactical ultra-short pulse laser represents a significant advancement in laser technology. It's something the Army has aspired to create for decades, overcoming numerous complications along the way. Finally, the dream has materialized and they now possess a laser capable of releasing petawatts of energy in the blink of an eye. What are your thoughts about these weapons? Share your opinions in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.